Okay, let's push through the centre here and just develop the knight. It's all training for classical chess long play, long play thinking. Just attack the centre here. Try to open it up if we can. We prefer to do that. Okay, um, I'm going to grab here, maybe get the 20 pointer, taking the queen off the board if the king then takes, then they don't have castling rights, so that's pretty straightforward. If the knight takes, we can take the pawn, so the knight does take, so we take the pawn. So they're giving us a bit of an advantage at the moment. I'm going to take the knight, just keeping it simple, don't want to get too carried away. And do we just make space now for our king castling? Nice and steady. Don't want to overexert. And that's where bishops coming here. So we may as well block that off already with the pawn. So it's got nothing to really work with. And castle. Just bring the bishop out. Attack in the knight. Knight's doing a merry dance, okay, so where's it thinking of realistically going? I think it's coming attacking our white square bishop. I'm going to bring our bishop here, it's attacking the pawn, but also if the knight is looking to go here, maybe we take it off the board, I'm not too sure yet. So attempting to look at what the opponent's trying to do, still trying to block that off. Even if you have an advantage, you, for me, it's like looking at really, what is, ooh, is pawn for a pawn. Now, which one's going to be better? We take, his rook takes, he's down here, he's on the back rank. I think we can have some patience. I'm just going to bring the pawn up. Knight's currently protecting this pawn. And he's wanting to exchange off. And mm, maybe maybe I'm liking my white square bishop. Maybe I'll just leave it here for now. So his king can castle because he his knight took the pawn. Uh, his knight took the queen. All right, so he's got a bit of a space in front of him, but I don't have a dark square bishop. He doesn't have a dark square bishop, so I can now start elevating my knight. Maybe looking to attack his knight. This way even. Okay, so let's have a look at the situation here. We could take and his knight comes round and we're attacking his knight with the pawn. Then our knight can dance in the centre. Yeah, let's get that off the board. Let's attack the knight. Ask it where it's going. Is this going to be ideal for us? Has potential for dancing around here. It's attacking the rook. So it's also going to be attacking here as well. Do we bring the rook here or do we just bring the rook up knowing that he's going here? Then we can bring our rook here attacking. And where does the knight go? Is it almost trapping itself? Let's do that. It's tempting not gone yet so it's attacking our knight because our knight doesn't have any protection we could go here looking to double the pawns on that side or we could just attack their knight I'm going to attack the knight this way it doesn't have to take but these squares look like they're kind of Gone. So the rook in its own right, get the king more into the centre, maybe we can start fighting for this file. Yeah, it's doubling up. It's doubling up in preparation. So it's going to beat us to the punch. So 
I think I'm going to have to bring this rook here, get it up to here. Yeah, something like that. Get this here. So it's a nice position they've got, but hopefully we can get a rhythm going. Maybe go for an exchange of some sort. Yeah, so if we go here, then it's going to be tempting for him to just come down and put a check on the king. We go up. And then at least we're saving the pawns, it looks like, yeah. Yeah, what did I say? Attempting for them to come down. I don't think they're going to come here. So then hopefully they start realising that, oh, this might not be the best thing. So they come round the back even. So are they thinking of coming round the back here and doing stuff like that? But that doesn't look like it works too well. We could attack his rook, but we lose a bit of a tempo. So we may as well just push the pawn first. He's separated his rooks. I think that's a bit dangerous. I think he's going to have to come back, isn't he? I'm shocked. Let's see how it pans out. It might work in their favour. Does he just come across here looking to attack the pawn or something? Um, not really sure that that. Let's just go here. This is the only place we can go. <clears throat> What is the aim? Uh, it's it's almost it almost looks like they've trapped their own rooks in our back. Oh dear me! I don't think he's exchanging, is he? But we can keep our rook here now, and the king can go up and cause some devastation, can't it? The king's too far away, so we'll get a few pawns off. And we're owning the file with the rook. Oh, that was quite an exciting game. Hmm. Oh, what's happening? Oh, so if I do move up, then he's... Oh, I don't really want them apples, do I? Hmm. So I can't go ramping up. If I move up... Then he can just go there and then he's going to get our pawns. I could go and put a check on his king, but it doesn't win me much. He comes down, then I have to come back down again, so there's no point in doing that. So, the only other option I have is to move this pawn up. Move this pawn up a little bit at a time, inchy inchy. That's what I'm thinking. So, I'm going to just push the pawns now. Nice touch, good move. Yeah, these long play games it gives you that time to think what potentially could happen. If I, yeah, so the rook is protecting this pawn, so I don't need to lose any sleep. If I push up, he's obviously going to come back attacking the pawn, but that gives us tempo to push this. Then he's going to come and attack this pawn because this pawn isn't protected. So then I can push this pawn then he'll come back for this but that pawn is close to my king again so i'm going to go for it that's what he's going to do so then we push this one up try and push this up try and inch these up a little bit type thing so at least we're aware of that what potentially can happen because at the minute, I think he's obviously maybe trying to maybe think about getting the pawns down, trying to disturb this area here. But our rook at the minute is managing this square quite nicely. And it is kind of trapped in the back, is the, their rook. So the only thing that can save it is probably getting the king round and doing that. So that's quite a lot of moves while he's taking a bit of punishment on this side. But it can happen. 
Looks like they've left the game.